so hello and welcome everyone this is vikas here in this particular video series i will be demonstrating about terraform in the very simplest manner we will learn and evolve day by day from zero to hero i promise once you will finish this series you don't need to learn somewhere else and at the end of this series you will be very confident i promise so let's start so let's have a quick intro of terraform so let me introduce what is terraform so with the help of this you can basically codify your infrastructure so infrastructure has various components like ec2 route table internet gateway load balancer you can manage auto scaling even etc so hence terraform is written in a go language developed by hcl hashicorp so let's go to the next slide and why it is prior than ansible puppet and ceph okay so these all are deployment tools with the use of this also you can deploy your infra then why terraform came in picture so see ansible puppet and ceph these all are excellent in managing application and services but these all are mainly focused on software configuration rather than building your infrastructure okay so that's why we prefer terraform over this because a terraform is a much much easier and simpler than these all tools let's go to our next slide why terraform not cloud formation so see cloud formation is cloud formation is basically a aws tool but still uh, industry prefers uh, many industry these days are preferring this uh, terraform over cloud formation because i will tell you two differences uh, in which uh, you will get a clear idea why we are preferring this so see if you will go for cloud formation so this will uh, cover almost all the services of aws only okay but if you will go with uh, terraform this will uh, cover almost like aws as well as your other cloud provider services okay second point is like it is free cloud formation is free but support only aws platform but you will go for terraform terraform is open source and it is having multiple cloud source you can write terraform code for aws azure google cloud provider gcp as well okay so let's move to the next slide and the last slide how it works so once you will write your code you just have to execute and your infra will be ready in three steps okay terraform init terraform plan and terraform apply with this we will finish our this uh, terraform section so what will be the requirement how we can configure this i will be telling you about these all things in my next video series but for that first and foremost thing what you have to do is uh, how you will connect this terraform to your aws infra aws portal so uh, you can do it in two ways mainly okay one is uh, you will create a iam user okay iam user and you will provide a access like you want to create a ec2 instance you want to create a s3 buckets and all so based on that you can provide the permission but see in our project we will be providing our user administrator access so that it can create anything present in the uh, aws anything comes under this aws service and the second thing instead of creating iam user you can assign a role okay from to the server in which you are using the terraform you will assign a iam role uh, by providing administrator access okay so this is this is this was the sort uh, introduction about terraform we will learn much and much uh, simpler way okay so with this i'm finishing this uh, session for today thanks for watching